Hans Wormhat. In this video, I want to talk about how time really is going faster. It's not just because you're getting older. I get people leaving me comments about how young children even know, like teenagers can tell that time is going faster. And I think people just don't want to admit it because it's scary, I guess. For me, it, it's amazing because it proves it's just another piece of the puzzle proving that it's end times. It's biblical prophecy. And so in this video, I don't want to try to get into the nuances of it. How does it all work? Because it, it is kind of a mind bender to try to figure out how it's all how it's all working. But the easiest way I can explain it is the day-night cycle is just faster than what it used to be. Because what is time is supposed to be breaking down a day into smaller chunks. A day is 24 hours. That's just something we declare. And then from there, that's how we get down to what a second means. So if, and people just assume, because they think that they live in NASA Outer Space Fantasy Land, people assume that a day is a day, and it's always been the same rate. In my opinion, that's just not true. I don't think a day is what it used to be. I think everything is moving faster in the heavens. And I, let's just keep this. I want to just show you some examples, talk about it. And I don't want to try to get too into the details because I, I really don't know how it all works other than a day isn't what it used to be. Days are faster than what they used to be. So that, that goes all the way down to a second isn't what it used to be. And certainly years don't feel like what they used to be. And it's not just because you're older. It's because it's end times. So here are the examples. GTA through the years. Between the years of 2001 and 2008, they were able to come up with four independent games. And then now, in an eight-year time span, between 2013 and 21, they haven't come out with anything new. It's just Grand Theft Auto V. And I hear this person has a 777 username. You see this with all media, really. They just don't have time anymore. It's not that there's not inspiration, necessarily. Not that these people ever had that many ideas. Um, it's not lack of inspiration. It's not lack of money to do things. It's not because they make more money this way. I mean, these people, their job is making video games. I'm sure they want to make video games. They... It's just that they don't have the time. They really don't have the time that they used to have. People used to be able to spend so much time on one project. And, I mean, now they still have the same deadlines. Oh, within five years you have to make this game. Five years isn't what it used to used to be. They, they literally cannot make the same quality content. That's why stuff is so garbage and rehashed old ideas. Nobody comes up with... Practically nobody comes up with original ideas anymore because it's not possible to fit it into the time scale anymore. I I mean, some examples that I don't have pictures of that I think of, like how people don't have time to do household chores anymore, even though we have technology that makes stuff easier than it used to be. People used to have all the time in the world to mop their floors every day and make homemade bread and make homemade meals every day and go get their children and bring them home for lunch. People talk about that, how high schoolers used to come home, go home and have lunch and then go back to school. There is no time for that stuff anymore. People, there's just no time. Time is gone. So one thing, the time between Tool albums is just kind of an interesting thing that people talk about a lot. 1993 to 1996, three-year gap. 1996 to 2001, there was a five-year gap. 2001 to 2006, there was a five-year gap. It really does seem like time started just going off the rails, going way too fast. You'll hear people just in the grocery store talking about this. Oh man, the time is just going so fast. But if if you actually just look at them and you say, you know what, time really is going faster than it used to. This isn't like a perception thing. It's not just in your imagination. It really is going faster. It's like they saw a ghost. They, people, this scares people. Anyways, 2006, it took them 13 years to make their newest album. It's because honestly, a year is like what half a year used to be. Easily. Half-Life series. Oh, what do you know? Orange. The series logo, an orange lambda, is a prominent symbol throughout the series. And you got the pyramid idea and the lambda. Here's the release timeline. 
Well, like, what happened to time? What happened to time? And Half-Life is one of the most popular games of all time. There's so much demand for them to make this content. There's just no time to do it anymore. Like, what happened during these years? It's like a blur. Honestly, the, the 2010s, it's like a blur. Why are so many movies these days sequels, remakes, adaptions? It's because they make money? No. It's not. It's because they physically do not have the time to keep inventing new things on the same time scales that they used to. They, If they have to keep pumping out the same amount of movies every year, there literally doesn't exist enough new material, so they have to start resorting to just bad sequels. Why don't the 2000s and 2010s feel like distinct decades? Because there's just not enough time to get that feeling. There physically wasn't enough time in in the 20, 2000s and 2010s to feel like a decade. It's like, put them both together. Put the years from 2000 all the way to 2020, and okay, that's starting to feel like a decade. The 80s and 90s seemed like two separate decades. Do you ever see the two? It's a big topic. People can tell that it's happening. Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. I mean, it's like, it's a big topic that everyone talks about it, but not directly. They they don't want to come to the obvious conclusion of time really is moving faster than it used to. And here here's where it's end times prophecy. And except those days should be shortened. Days literally are shorter than what they used to be. Jesus told us, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Thank you, Jesus, for making these days shorter. If the 2000s and the 2010s went as slow as the 90s, we would just all be dead by now from exhaustion. <laughs> Why did young people in the 50s look so old? Why we look younger than our parents at the same age? So this is something that people noticed. <clears throat> high schoolers, if you look at photos of high schoolers from the 50s and 60s, they look like full-grown adults today. And people will say, oh, it's their hairstyle, so it's their clothing. No, it's just because time is going faster. So by the time you get out of college, or get out of high school these days, you're just younger. You you haven't spent as much time. You've spent the same number of days. And this is where there are some things, like you can start talking about circadian rhythms. How how does this shorter day thing affect the way that we age, the way that uh, babies are, you know, because it's still nine months, because we still have the circadian rhythm. We still have this connection to a day cycle, day-night cycle but there's not as much time in each of those day-night cycles. It's very fascinating, and I'm not like an expert on, on that, but it's a great topic to think about. Anyways, the same thing with old people. People have brought this up. 70-year-olds today look so young. They, you can look at a 70-year-old, and it, they don't look that old. And people, I've, I've heard people talk in the comments about how when I was young, 70-year-olds look, looked really old. Like, back in the day, a 70-year-old looked so old. And it's because they had physically spent more time. I think I'll just end with this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the method that I was taught to count. And I know that I used to be good at counting seconds and being accurate because it was a common little mini-game in video games to... What they would do is they, they would show you a stopwatch going one, two, three, and then the stopwatch disappears, and then it'll say something like press a button after 30 seconds has elapsed. So this is just something that I used to do. And here you go. I'm going to count to 10 seconds, and let's see what time the stopwatch tells me. Okay, I'm going to start counting now. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten. And honestly, like I, I was counting pretty fast there. When I was young, I remember that I, I used to have to slow myself down. So there you go. Just do that test yourself. Did you used to count with one Mississippi, two Mississippi? Did you used to count with one 1,000, two 1,000? There's no way that they teach children this anymore because time moves too fast today. Praise Jesus. It's the end. Repent and follow Jesus Christ.